Oh, hi, Bible Revival, Nick Brenner. I just got ripped off. Uh, I'm here at the laundromat. Wanted to get some vittles, and uh, it's not working. Okay, our verse of the day, we're talking about family, the nurturing of the home, the warmth of the home, the responsibilities of the children, honoring the parents, the parents rearing them correctly, the father's commands, the father loving the wife as he would love Christ. Let's see, 1 John 4.20. I'm just reading this for the first time today. Those who say I love God, oh, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. Or after all, those who don't love their brothers and sisters whom they have seen can hardly love God who they haven't seen. You know, there's a lot of people out there, praise the Lord, amen. Oh, uh, let me heal you. Let me pray with you. Then they go home. And it's a different scene, all their anger, all their get this, a, a little bit of a different person at home. Um, it reminds me of a nice guy out on the street, and then when he's with his date, he's like taking it out on her. Like, why are you taking it out on me? You know, like you yell at, you kind of yell at your loved ones sometimes, because you know they're going to be, be there, but you're nice to everyone else. So the thing is, those who say, I love God, and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. He doesn't like that. He'd rather you keep him out and just be mean to everybody. But don't say you love me if you have hatred in your heart um, to discriminate against your loved ones. So, harmony is a big word. Be harmon. And if, you, if, there's, if there is tough harmony... Talk it out in a loving way. Hey, mom. I mean, I used to wear my brother's Pete's shirts as a teenager because they were styling. He would be gone. I would put the shirt on. And boy, if I got busted, there was hell to pay. Same thing with my two sisters. My one sister would go, mom, where's my new hat? And uh, my mom may know that where it might be on my other sister's head. But she kind of played the innocent, and uh, I'm not sure, I'll look around, where'd you leave it? But knowing that there could be a culprit involved. So there is disharmony, but there is love and understanding, because if I took my brother's thing, and my other brother took my thing, like my baseball glove, where is it? Or my favorite this, you know that you're guilty. So it reminds me of, um, he who hasn't sinned cast the first stone, the Lord said, and no one threw a stone because they walked away because everyone has sinned. So the point is love your brothers and sisters despite the ups and downs. Okay, so take the hatred out. Everybody's human. We all make mistakes. Sometimes we don't speak to one another and then it grows and... Um, you don't want that. Of course, it doesn't feel good. But when you go, you know what? Be the bigger person. Step out and say, hi, sis or mom. I know it's been a while. And like the prodigal son left his father, but his father waited there with open arms and didn't question why or whose fault. He waited there like the Lord's waiting for us to come back to him. So forgive and there'll be all smiles. And you know what happens on a broken relation? When you get it together, it's so solid. Like a broken bone, they say. When it heals, it's twice as strong. So love each other. Make the phone call today. Write the letter. Love each other. God loves you, he says. So love your brothers and sisters. Amen.